Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, me, DC Gunner, and this is my second take of this video. But this is my first cup of coffee, and uh, absolutely love warm coffee on this cold December day. And it's not just any day, it's cold December Sunday. So I said this is my second take uh, because in the first one I tried to rush things up, and that's just not me. Sometimes I do love a quick video, but this isn't one of them. So I tried to rush things up and I had a terrible hair. This is one of those bad hair days. So I decided to grab a hat, I have a cap, and uh, in the meantime I made up some warm coffee. I like coffee, um, but whatever warm beverage you prefer on Sunday afternoons, it's okay. And I usually uh, drink my coffee hot. And you have to. So the, the more hot it is, I love it. And with lots of milk and lots of sugar. Um, but yeah, uh, today I just want to make a quick, short, uh, and that translates to long and relax uh, video. Uh, video, yeah. Uh, uh, you guys may uh, find it cute my uh, pronunciation of the V and uh, video uh, but uh, the other day on one of the videos uh, the guy t uh, left a comment you stupid American prick so yeah uh, not everyone thinks I have an accent uh, anyways uh, I just wanted to Give you a little update. I uh, just wanted to uh, say what's going on because I have a feeling that I haven't made, uh, I haven't shoot a video uh, in uh, in ages. Because that's because I haven't. I had some pre-recorded ones that I've been scheduled to upload, but uh, this month uh, I have a lot of things going on uh, besides being engaged. I actually. Uh, managed to land it to land a job and to land a job in Bosnia you have to be some beer grills survivalist type of thing uh, but I landed it's a short-term gig uh, I'm a teacher uh, I teach I teach uh, uh, English uh, in schools I teach kids how to speak English so as a foreign English teacher uh, but besides that I do I like to hustle I always, I always, I like, I like selling stuff. I always been a bit of a hustler, so but I will say sell high and stuff like that. Um, basically, anything, everything, resale, arbitrage, and lots of that stuff. I, I'm, a, I will also watch a lot of hustlers kung fu. That's a great YouTube channel uh, for sellers, for entrepreneurs, and basically, uh, I've been hustling, surviving because ain't easy in Bosnia uh, lots of people are going it's like Bosnia is like uh, Mexico and uh, EU Germany as United States so everyone's flocking to the Germany to get a green card so yeah but I'm not or maybe I should I don't know uh, I don't know what what's gonna go but I had this this year was really bad and basically I turned on to make this video uh, to um, to wish you happy holidays uh, that's why I wanted to do this video uh, because Christmas is coming Hanukkah and what, what not I'm just gonna keep it happy holidays to all of you guys and uh, happy new year and everything if I don't hear from see you again this year uh, but I'm sure I will uh, I want to just say happy holidays Happy New Year. I have a lot of things going on, so uh, December is really busy month of the year uh, for me and my profession. And uh, yeah, I haven't bought any new watches lately. But I do, I will have, I do, I will show you. I have some cool new watches to show you in this, uh, in the next year. So in 2018. I will have some fantastic new watches to show you. Uh, 
those who are following me on Instagram, uh, shameless plug, EDC Gunner on Instagram, uh, kind of got a little sneak peek, sneak peek, a uh, preview of what's to come. But like I said, I had a tons of things to do. I've been driving uh, every day, running errands, doing stuff. Got engaged now preparations for the next big step uh, for the real thing uh, and lots of things going on but I haven't forgot about you guys uh, I just love uh, sharing new watches with you and experiencing and whatnot and I have some cool new watches in some new year some of them are iconic like the Tag Heuer Monaco uh, I have a JLC uh, Jago the Culture uh, or Juju Le Coutre. I don't know, whatever you call it. It's kind of, it sounds kind of, I don't know. But I just want to say GLC. Uh, also, uh, there's a lot of other watches, and uh, I've been disappointing myself, been holding on. I'm actually on a mission to uh, return my old watch back. Uh, I had a I had a Breitling uh, beginning of this year uh, and uh, I traded it and sold it and uh, whatnot to get the Rolex I got my first Rolex uh, and I haven't regret that watch it's my favorite watch and uh, now I'm on a mission to get my old Breitling back there's a lot of Breitlings out there but but uh, I just love that. I, I remember the feeling the first day when I got it. It's the feeling of the first uh, luxury watch you have. And it's not just any Breitling, it's not just any watch. It's actually not so popular model. Uh, it's a, if you remember, it's a crosswind from the Chronomat series. But uh, when, you, when I look at that watch, it's a perfect watch for me. It's just gorgeous, beautiful. Uh, and uh, it speaks Breitling. There's a lot of new new chronomats that are not so nice and uh, they're kind of gaudy and big and flashy but this one's just perfect. It has that thinner bezel and the dial. I love dials and uh, I don't I don't know who else does dial better than Breitling. So I'm on a mission to get my old Breitling crosswind back so let me know what do you think about that, guys? Um, what what do you think? Should I get it? Um, whatever you say, I'm gonna get it. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm on a mission. Um, uh, I always say, say this to myself. Uh, what is it that I cannot have that I really want? So, uh, And I think uh, it's with my friend, the, the guy who, who, who I showed you in a vlog when we went to buy Rolex. He has it. And uh, uh, I just need to soften him up, and he is he loves that watch as well, and he doesn't want to sell. But I got a promise, I'm the first one to get offered it, and we do that between ourselves. When I sell a watch, I will first rank him up, just to say you got the first refusal and stuff like that. So that's just what friends do. That's what buddies do, and. Uh, Oh, my coffee is getting colder. I need to wrap this up, but um, yeah, wristwatch check the infamous that's the infamous B I G notorious tag Hoyer on my wrist here, guys. Uh, and uh, uh, I will I will give you a close up of this watch at the end, like really close up, and this one as well. And this is a uh, that's the vintage Timex I've been showing you. Uh, and uh, I only have one issue with this watch. It's one of them. It has beautiful dial and everything else, but it has a day date, and uh, the date uh, has a quick set date when you return the, the hands backwards and forward and quick set. But the day is a really hustle, so it kind of gets uh, no wrist time because of that. But the day I decided to wear it just to get it going a little bit and uh, uh, but this watch so underrated 
And I love the fact that everyone hates it. Well, not everyone, most of the people who saw it and uh, who saw it in person, who, didn't, who even don't know watches, uh, it's kind of imposing. It's, uh, uh, it's flashy, but not in your eyes. It's a brushed, so it's not a polished. It's really cool watch and uh, it looks much nicer in person than on the video and uh, yeah so that's it guys I'm gonna wrap this video up uh, stay tuned to the, the end I will give you a couple of close-ups of these two guys and uh, yeah happy holidays uh, happy season I had a uh, when I look back uh, 2018 uh, I can't wait till it's over. So hopefully for the new starts, uh, for the new beginnings, and uh, all the best, all the best to you guys from EDC Gunner, and uh, see see you on the next one. And uh, I'm having problems with my stomach a little bit, but uh, yeah, happy holidays, happy New Year, and uh, see ya. Subscribe.